okay so uh, okay so now basically the okay so let me then just start by into introducing uh, professor tonocci uh, so okay first of all it's a great pleasure to have him here uh, to, to 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 tell us something about his uh, his research and his work on on uh, uh, terahertz. Uh, so, uh, Professor Tonucci uh, received a bachelor, master, and a doctor degree or a PhD uh, from Osaka University. Uh, so, he has worked, uh, okay, started working at Osaka University, uh, then, he, uh, then he became faculty, uh, he, then he started working at the Faculty of Computer Science and System Engineering at the Kyushu Institute of Technology. Then he moved to uh, to the Kansai Advanced Research Center, Communication Research Laboratory in Japan. Uh, he was associate professor uh, at the Research Center for Superconducting Materials and Electronics at Osaka University, and is currently professor uh, at the Institute of Laser Engineering at Osaka University. So his uh, uh, current research interests include ultra-fast optical and terrestrial science of strongly correlated electronic system, optical uh, interfaces for single flux quantum circuits, and uh, uh, development and applications of terrestrial system, such as laser terrestrial emission microscope. Uh, he's a fellow of a okay, number of, uh, of uh, optical and physical societies. Um, and so he has edited books, he has uh, uh, 45 pa uh, patents, uh, uh, published 10 chapters in several books, uh, uh, more than 240 papers with uh, over uh, 11,000 citations and very high number of presentation in conferences and uh, more than 120 uh, in, uh, invited speakers. Uh, so he's also associated editor at the Journal of Applied Physica, Physics of the American Institute of Physics. Okay, but I guess you're here not to listen to me, but mainly but to listen to Professor Tonucci. Again, thank you for being here. And again, reminder, please double check that you have muted your microphone. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Marco. Uh, can you hear me? No problem. Uh, see. Can you hear? All can hear me? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, we, we hear okay. you clearly. OK. <laughs> and can you see, see my presentation? Yes, perfect. Uh, OK. OK, thank you, Marco. So I'm Masesh Tonochi from Osaka University. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, our, some of the uh, terahertz uh, emission spectroscopy and microscopy application for semiconductors. Uh, I've been working on this subject for a long time, and uh, uh, this uh, talk is uh, related to the terahertz time domain emission spectroscopy with the famous scan laser uh, illumination. So uh, this, this, this is the uh, uh, typical time domain uh, uh, study on this uh, semiconductor. Oops. And uh, this is the outline of my talk. Uh, I'd like to a little bit talk about uh, about the terahertz itself. Uh, it's a uh, uh, people are joining the this field recent uh, for this uh, ten years and uh, fifteen years. And uh, uh, I talk about the uh, uh, terahertz emission spectroscopy imaging system. And so we named it, it's a laser trans emission microscope, uh, so-called LTAM. LTAM is used uh, usual term, 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 terminology in these days for, for the application. And uh, this talk, in this talk, I explained some examples of the LTAM applications, uh, uh, semiconductor uh, research and development, not, not fundament, fundamental, uh, uh, material science. Uh, I focus on the more uh, uh, real-world application uh, in this talk, and and some uh, some examples are 
uh, wide gap band gap semiconductors, wafer characterizations, and the silicon MOS surface evaluations. And, and, and uh, finally, I talk about the LSI failure analysis. Uh, and, and this is also good for the solar cell evaluation, but I don't, I don't have time, I think, I think. Okay, so uh, this is the trend. Uh, this is the publication number in the field of terahertz or uh, terahertz. It's uh, this is the year. And you, you can see the number of growing rapidly like this after 2000 and still going up up and up uh, now. So people are uh, interested in the field of the terahertz uh, uh, field, uh, research field. And uh, uh, a little bit proud of the, the uh, I, I'm, I'm third number of the, this uh, scopes uh, list if you, if you uh, check the uh, terahertz and, and see the metrics, you can see my name on the third, third authors. Third, uh, third ranked authors like this. And so this inclu includes the, the conference and many things. So, And uh, this year, uh, if you were interested in the terahertz itself, uh, so you can check the, uh, this, uh, someone wrote the uh, uh, papers, metrics papers, they checked the, the uh, papers, uh, the I2P access and, and the Synthmetric uh, they published this year, March, about terahertz, you can just check check the terahertz and uh, uh, I2P access, I guess. So you can see the uh, how the patent is going up and the paper is going up, about which institute is uh, working hard from the terahertz field. And uh, so, uh, so, the, the, uh, so obviously you can see, see the people are interested in the field of terahertz. And before talking in detail, uh, I'd like to uh, explain the why they're interested in the terahertz science technology because uh, we, uh, many people are interested in the application. And uh, 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 there are some uh, field for uh, uh, terahertz uh, uh, waves uh, uh, um, applications. And uh, uh, most uh, easy to understand is uh, uh, information communication technology these days. Uh, because of the, the, the 5G is already uh, 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 ready in use, are uh, used, and the, uh, they are focusing on the uh, 6G now. Uh, 6G may use the terahertz waves uh, for the wireless communication, so uh, the big market is coming for, uh, for the uh, information uh, uh, communications. And uh, another big market we can expect, the biomedical applications. And but uh, still not many people are involved in this field. Uh, we uh, terahertz scientists demonstrate our many uh, uh, examples, but uh, uh, there's some war between the, uh, us and the, the uh, bioscientists and the medical, uh, uh, medical scientists, uh, because there are a known uh, science uh, locates in between uh, us. And uh, so we needed to work on more hard for, for the, this application. And, uh, and another application is easy to understand is a non-destructive evaluation or security application. And uh, uh, for instance, may, uh, many people want, uh, want to use the uh, Terahertz uh, camera to detect the uh, uh, ex explosive and, and so on. And also, the, the, uh, if you see, see, see some uh, 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 this smoke, uh, if you, you can see through the smoke, smokes when in the fire site. Because the uh, 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 wavelength is much larger than the, uh, the uh, particles, and uh, uh, for uh, and fogs, and, and if you see the fire with the only the, the, the uh, millimeter camera, uh, everywhere uh, burning, so you, you cannot distinguish uh, the fire people and uh, uh, things. But but if you see 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 use the terahertz waves, you can see 
see through the through the uh, uh, fogs and the fire uh, smokes and so on. And those were uh, uh, we are interested in my, my area is or uh, the this area is a science of uh, uh, pure science, fundamental science to see the material science. And uh, uh, sometimes people using uh, uh, for for uh, uh, evaluate the environment, and uh, they want to use also uh, in space so on. And uh, so we we can you can study the many uh, uh, low energy excitation uh, dynamics in uh, solid state materials and soft materials, uh, and uh, this is growing rapidly also, and. And the, the uh, what, what is terahertz waves is uh, uh, in the border of the, between the photons and the waves. And uh, we typically, we uh, though it just depends. Uh, people say uh, from uh, above 100, or sometimes uh, uh, to up, up to 100 ter terahertz. And, and mainly, uh, 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 300 gigahertz and 30 terahertz is is uh, uh, locate, uh, uh, is uh, uh, called terahertz waves. And uh, for the solid space science, science, it is interesting because it just have the one milli eb and hundred milli eb. We study in between uh, this uh, low energy. It's much more than the band gap of the usual semiconductor. And uh, for uh, uh, below the hundred, now they try to use the about three thirty gigahertz of the five z, and you you are you're using the uh, seventy five gigahertz for for the for the uh, for for the car uh, uh, applications or radar application, and uh, uh, but above 100 gigahertz is still are uh, uh, unused for for the public public uh, public uh, application. In the public application, we don't use in the, uh, we don't use the uh, uh, waves above 100 gigahertz, and below the 100 100. Uh, uh, terahertz, we use uh, above 100 uh, terahertz. So we use the uh, uh, optical communications and many applications we're using already. And in between, the, some are uh, special area uh, is that only for scientists. And uh, but we we are going to use this uh, uh, region for the uh, real application. And for other scientists, it is interesting because the low frequency is explained by the classical electromagnetic theory. And we are just uh, 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 characterize the, uh, those uh, signals in the, uh, in the electronic, uh, as an electric signal. And above the, above the terahertz waves, it's defined as a quantum mechanics. And we count on the photon number, one, or one two, three, something, and so, so in between, there are many uh, interesting science uh, uh, in, in the terahertz waves. For instance, so terahertz resonant tunneling is a ju just a uh, uh, um, uh, quantum well, and so, and, and this uh, emit that can excite the terahertz waves into free space. And also, this is a uh, terahertz quantum cascade. There is a you designed the uh, quantum wall in, in the nanoscale, and they emit the, the uh, raising the, uh, the terahertz waves. But this is photons. This this is a uh, uh, old uh, electromagnetic theory. So, or oh, in between, uh, they they can produce the uh, uh, terahertz waves, but uh, uh, there are interesting uh, earlier in between them. Okay. So, okay, uh, so let me explain my uh, research a little bit. Uh, I'm uh, studying for a long time terahertz emission spectroscopy imaging, and we named it the terahertz uh, uh, emission microscope. So let, let me explain the, the, the simple uh, way uh, to, to for, for understand for the student to understand uh, if we, if they uh, they uh, are here uh, how to generate the terahertz waves. It's a uh, usual, uh, you can derive the, the, from the uh, Maxwell equations and uh, simply this is the propagations and electromagnetic source always the, uh, defined by the uh, time derivative of the current and, and like this. And this is the source of the electromagnetic uh, uh, electromagnetic waves. Without this, 
uh, this equation just tell, tells how, how, how to pro propagate. And uh, the, the, this uh, the time derivative current, current uh, means uh, we, uh, sometimes we uh, generate the uh, photo current uh, and uh, just the same as uh, antenna in the uh, 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 radio and tele tele television and so on. And uh, we, we, just, uh, we just generate the uh, current, uh, current change. It's, it's a real current, uh, uh, by, I mean, this is unbound electrons. If you generate a photo current, electrons is unbounded from the uh, atoms and they, they, they are separated if they are, uh, if they are in the, uh, 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 under some uh, in the potential difference. So they, this generates the, uh, the carrier displacement. And if you uh, see, see the uh, transient carrier displacement, uh, you, can, uh, you can see, see, see the, uh, you, you can generate the uh, source of exomonic wave. Another uh, principle is a uh, uh, nonlinear effect. This is the case of the, of the bounded uh, electron case. It, uh, uh, they just shaking around the, the atoms and uh, 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 with the uh, external field and uh, with the nonlinear uh, uh, coefficient, uh, they generate the uh, nonlinear uh, polarization. Uh, like this is a uh, chi two uh, and in, in the solid state uh, solid state material or uh, somewhere ma ma plasma itself, they have they have a nonlinear uh, 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 term. And the, and so you don't need to uh, generate the photocarriers, uh, unbounded carriers. Uh, you, you can just shake 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 the carriers in the, with the, the field, but it also generates the uh, current uh, uh, time derivative current. Uh, it's not zero, so uh, this is also source source of electromagnetic wave. Now, if this uh, these changes in uh, in in, um, in the f f fast time scale. Uh, this uh, uh, the, the electromagnetic wave go into the terahertz frequency range, and I'm not talking about this uh, nonlinear effect today. I just focus on the photo uh, photocarrier generation. It, uh, this is a simple uh, understanding. Oh, terahertz emission you can uh, generate a terahertz emission with a femtoscan laser illumination sim uh, simply. So this is a just gallium arsenide and put on the uh, antenna uh, uh, made of gold, made by gold uh, antennas. And then you, you illuminate this uh, semi-insulating gallium arsenide. Uh, semi-insulating gallium arsenide, it's a, a high resistive semiconductor. So they don't, throw, uh, they don't carry the current without illumination. Uh, they don't uh, carry. Uh, they, they, if you illuminate the carriers, uh, uh, is, uh, illuminate this area with the femtoscan optic pass, they, uh, they generate the photocarriers uh, uh, in, in, uh, in this area. So if you bias in between these electrodes, the photocarrier runs in, in, in the semiconductors. So terahertz wave is just generated by the displacement of the, this holes and this. Uh, holes and these electrons, and if you illuminate the uh, uh, this gallium arsenide with uh, photon energy greater than this uh, energy band gap, so this is a simple case. And since, since the, we use the uh, uh, femtoscan opaque pulse, this pulse generates the optical uh, pulsed electromagnetic wave. So this this is a principle for uh, time domain uh, way to to generate. Uh, there has waves, so uh, femtoscan laser. This uh, produces a photon, some kind of the uh, 80 megahertz or something. And one photon come, uh, uh, one pulse comes and separated to the uh, two into two waves. One one is to go to the uh, sample here. In this uh, uh, area, this, this is a emitter, gallium arsenide, so on, many materials. Uh, uh, this of uh, photo illumination. Uh, induce the uh, this uh, transient current, and then electromagnetic wave is is generated into free space and traveling to the detector. 
and this uh, uh, electromagnetic wave uh, itself is uh, uh, pulsed, and um, the separated uh, pulse goes to like this uh, uh, way, and go to the uh, detector. And the detector we usually use a uh, ultra fast uh, lifetime detector, kind of the uh, 300 femtosecond and 500 femtosecond. So this detector works only this uh, photon comes. So, so this is a, 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 a there's a, 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 a correlated. This uh, pulse uh, is separated, so the same pulse, and this uh, pulse goes to this. And so uh, this should be just uh, 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 almost the same uh, length. To this past length is the, should be same, this past length. And if they, they match at the here detector, they can, this the detector can uh, detect the electromagnetic wave. So if you change the time delay, and uh, there's, uh, if there is a uh, difference between the uh, uh, electromagnetic wave and the optical pulse, this detector uh, uh, doesn't get signal. Okay, so so by changing the, by changing the this uh, delay time, you can see the pulse electromagnetic wave. And the pulse electromagnetic wave is, is if you with that uh, Fourier transfer, uh, this uh, pulse shall show uh, have the, have the frequency component up to the uh, uh, terahertz frequency range. This is what we call call the, the terahertz uh, uh, waves. Uh, and this technique is invented by the Austin. Uh, Austin the, we call this is Austin switch. So in uh, 1884 and APL. In the uh, 90s, uh, there are many uh, scientists, uh, especially for, for the solid state scientists, start to use technique to characterize it, uh, the materials and this frequency range. And another thing says that uh, one can observe the trials radiation from various kinds of material when excited with the femtoscan laser, owing to root fast current modulation. So, uh, uh, so, so any any material can uh, any any material can uh, uh, can okay. any material can uh, 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 emit the terahertz wave so if you you can create the uh, unbounded carriers. So, so we uh, a long time ago we started the superconductors, a manganese, ferrite, electric, so on. If you generate the carriers in those material, uh, you can generate terahertz waves. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, terahertz wave waveform itself reflects the various kind of the properties such as uh, built-in fuse or good fast uh, transient uh, phenomena. In, the, in this waveform. This is a bismuth ferrite oxide. If you change the uh, polarization, uh, spontaneous polarizations, uh, but just by changing the polling uh, field, uh, you can uh, free prop the, the uh, 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 spontaneous polarization. So uh, if you excite the uh, unbiased bismuth ferrite oxide with a uh, poled region, this uh, area can emit a terahertz pulse like this. Depending on in in the direction of uh, of the direction of the uh, pouring of the pouring in in, in the uh, ferromagnetic materials, and this is the uh, uh, emission from the superconductor. It's a just of some plasma uh, uh, oscillation. If you uh, apply the magnetic field, so uh, plasma oscillation you can see in the terahertz emission waveforms, and this is the plastic calcium magna oxide manganites. And the uh, emission properties are cha changing the, the uh, uh, change counting temperature and also near temperature and so on. So spin uh, polarization, uh, spin ordering uh, affect a lot to, to the emission properties like this. And and
and uh, so and and in, in, uh, good things that, uh, so uh, you can uh, scan the uh, weather on the some uh, any samples, and you can visualize the emission image, and this uh, of goodness that the resolution and image is not limited by the wavelengths of the terahertz, but uh, only limited by the uh, uh, by the laser beam diameter because uh, uh, excited position only excited position emitted terahertz waves. So by by scanning the laser beam on the sample, so you can construct an emission image with the resolution with the uh, 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 laser beam diameter. So supercurrent flowing the antenna on the edge, you can see. And if you bias the, the, the uh, uh, galimarsenide, so it's using galimarsenide, and the positively biased area emit a stronger terahertz emissions. And if you excite this area with pump pulse, uh, you can see the transient phenomena. Uh, so uh, at first, uh, this uh, this positive part is uh, emit uh, emit a strong terahertz wave, but excite this area, the uh, 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 another part uh, emits it stronger, and this is this uh, uh, region, uh, this region don't emit terahertz wave strong em em uh, waves because of the change of the uh, 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 screening potential. And so on, and th this is uh, 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 you can visualize how much oxygen is attached to the graphene, and this area you you illuminated, and graphene has uh, captured more oxygen when when they are illuminated by the U, uh, UV light, like this. So you you can image like this, and also if you I don't talk about the uh, solar cell today, but but uh, uh, if you change the wavelengths. You can image. Uh, this is a com uh, complete fabricated uh, uh, tandem solar cell, three junction, multi junction solar cell. And if you choose the uh, wavelengths uh, to to the first layer, so you can see the first layer, PN junctions, uh, depression layer imaging. You can get. And and if you uh, uh, tune the the wavelengths to the gary uh you can only see see the depression layer and gary arsenide layer. In the third layer is a germanium PM junction solar cell. This is a solar cell made of the germanium PM junction. And if you uh, uh, tune the, the wavelengths of the femtoscan optical pulse, you see only the emission from the third layer, this third layer. So, uh, and this is emitted only, only the, from the depression layer. Like this, so so the, you can see see the deep inside the solar cell by tuning the wavelengths. This is the, uh, one of the applications. Okay, so let's go to to the applications cell semiconductor. I I starting to talk of the simple case and uh, uh, so why the gap semiconductor? This is a simple application uh, to uh, uh, of the LTAM to semiconductor surface. And uh, then I talk about the silicon CMOS surface evaluation at the surface potential. Uh, uh, and also, uh, uh, at last, I, uh, I explain some uh, example of the localization LSI failure, non contact free space mapping of the defect of the MOS uh, with a, a LSI with a resolution of 306 nanometer. It's a free space imaging, but it can you know, reach down to the 306 nanometer like this. Okay, so let's start by the uh, uh, characterized wide, wide band gap semiconductor. So this this is a, 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 a so you can excite the carriers near near the surface with the wide band sem semiconductor, and you can uh, uh, study the photo carrier dynamics and uh, depending on uh, dynamic and also the spatial uh, inform informations and. Uh, these have collaborated on this work, and uh, uh, mostly are uh, uh, the um, uh, PhD course students, PhD course students, and uh, uh, these are uh, uh, students and some postdoc and our staff, so, you know, uh, uh, Kawama and Murakami. And uh, uh, the system uh, 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 development, we work with these uh, uh, companies, guys like this. And this talk is based on the, our, our recent result like this. Okay, 
So, uh, so background for this subject, uh, there are still many challenges uh, that we needed to overcome to the, achieve the better wide band gap semiconductor device and the materials. And, and, and this is still difficult to uh, uh, prepare the higher quality materials. So new material characterization to, uh, tools are vital to uh, uh, get the advanced uh, uh, device for uh, characterizing the defects, impurities, passivations, noemitomities, and uh, carry time and so on. So th this is, uh, this is uh, application to the wide bank semiconductor. The, our setup is uh, uh, rather uh, simple, uh, okay. Uh, but we need a bit uh, uh, expensive ties of fire laser. Ties of fire laser we use uh, around two watts or three watts. And we use around uh, 80 handed nanometer uh, 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 femtoscan scanned pulse. Pulse window size around uh, 100 femtosecond. They produce the, uh, uh, the 80 megahertz, uh, like this. And the one pulse go, uh, as I explained, it's go to, to the detector. This is a detector. This goes to the detector like this. And this is rocking, rocking our amplified rocking detections. So, uh, 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 Actually, uh, uh, slow detections. Uh, so uh, we we uh, 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 chopped somewhere this, this uh, main pulse chopped and, and one, around one kilohertz something. So this is slow detection. Uh, so uh, we uh, get the uh, uh, locking signal by this way. And so uh, so main pulse uh, is. Uh, uh, Second harmonic or third harmonic uh, uh, general uh, harmonic pulse we use to excite the wide band gap. And uh, in this work, I uh, uh, show the examples of gallium nitride and gallium oxide. Uh, and we put the sample here and illuminate the, uh, uh, the brick angle of the 45 degrees, and they emit the telescope into the free space. Like this, and uh, and and the travel has pulse go to to the detector and and detected by the by, by the trigger by the, this pulse. Okay. 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 And uh, so this is a uh, most simple case. Uh, we are uh, because. Uh, for the application, we need to understand uh, simply, not 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 the uh, uh, in detail. So many uh, uh, engineers have to understand or uh, what they are observing. So so simple simple uh, simple way is uh, important uh, like this. And so this is just short key uh, surface potential as well the short key short, uh, value like this. And the back uh, uh, or air is here, so you illuminate the terahertz uh, 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 with the uh, uh, FS laser from the surface, and depending on the penetration depths, they generate the carriers, uh, mostly close to, to the uh, surface. And there exists a potential surface built-in potential, and they excite carriers. And uh, uh, may, uh, the couple of the mechanism to uh, uh, generate the photo, photo current, photo carriers. One is the uh, 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 diffusion current, uh, uh, and the uh, electrons go inside, also four go inside, but with different uh, mobilities. Uh, the difference makes uh, make make difference makes that our uh, photo current, transient photo current. And uh, and another way is uh, is uh, uh, this built-in potential is uh, uh, large. The the, the carriers is uh, accelerated by the built within this built-in field, and then electron runs uh, inward, and the holes uh, uh, runs uh, to the surface. So they uh, go uh, runs to the different directions. And if you uh, simplify the uh, uh, equation, so just just the terahertz waves is uh, 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 
simply explain the mobility and, and the defect density and the laser intensity and, and the direct constant. So we can see this kind of the parameters in, in uh, 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 image with the laser uh, beam diameter of, on, of the surface on, on, uh, of the wafers. And uh, if you excite the carriers with higher energy, mostly they run, uh, if you, ex for instance, the, if you excite the 800 nanometer and the three three meter, uh, 300 meter electron volt uh, band gap uh, materials, it's excite the photo carriers. So in that case, uh, it's just defined the photo carrier dis uh, uh, diffusion, or photo carrier diffusion uh, for, 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 for the isotropic diffusion. And uh, at the surface, uh, they, they don't come out to, to the uh, air, so they go to the inside usually. So uh, most of the, of the uh, uh, narrow gap semiconductor uh, 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 induced the terahertz wave like the, the simply the uh, ballistic trump spot of the hot carriers. Okay, let's start uh, explain about the uh, gallium nitride. Gallium nitride, uh, still, uh, we don't have a perfect crystal uh, in comparison with the silicon. It's uh, uh, many defects we have, and this is, uh, uh, this is gallium nitride we are examined. That we use the uh, uh, undoped. Undoped means the end type and uh, they have some uh, 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 10 to 70 about square centimeter carrier they have unintentionally. And if you dope the silicon with the silicon, so if you, uh, we can get the end types are uh, gallium nitride with the 10 to uh, 18 uh, carrier densities. And if you dope the ma 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 uh, MG, you can get P type you know, like this, uh, like this. And uh, so uh, this is the photoluminescence. So you can see the way the uh, 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 band H uh, uh, photoluminescence, where the uh, luminescence from the uh, defect you can see. Okay, so there are typical uh, band diagram of the, those uh, uh, gallium nitride uh, with us. So basically, uh, band, band H is uh, located around, around the 3.5 mostly electron volt, and mostly uh, uh, natural defect uh, distributed uh, below the conduction bound around 50 milli uh, electron volt. Uh, like this, uh, the defect of the, of, of the vacancy of the uh, nitrogen zone. And also they uh, uh, naturally have the defect inside the, inside the, uh, 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 near, 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 uh, closer to, to the, uh, uh, balance band, and uh, and this uh, this emission is uh, this blue emission. Sorry, we should I should uh, show this is a uh, uh, no, 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 BF transition. It's uh, it's a this uh, a defect to to the uh, balance band, and so blue luminescence is uh, is at uh, Mg uh, levels from the hydrogen level or some. Uh, vacancies, uh, we see the blue luminescence and the yellow luminescence is, is the, this defect to the, the defect to the defect like this or or silicon top the level. Also, we can see many, many uh, uh, luminescence you can see. But uh, usually, uh, uh, if you see, see, okay, so you can see some uh, characters using the luminescence. So uh, we don't compete with the uh, photoluminescence technique. But uh, uh, sometimes you don't know where where, uh, where is the signal coming. So uh, deep from the inside, uh, so they, they produce the photoluminescence everywhere uh, a carrier absorbed. So, and on, uh, uh, contrary to them, we only see this area, uh, carrier acceleration we see with this technique and so quite surface. And uh, so you can see, see this uh, uh, band bending like this and band bending like this, uh, P type like this. Okay, so uh, you can see, 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 see the carrier dynamics very close uh, to, to the surface. And this is the emission of an undoped 
and the silicon dot silicon dot is very small uh because the, the uh, this, this is uh, this surface uh, quite degenerated and small very small uh, bandwidth uh, depression layer and uh, uh, small potential they have so emission uh, is rather small and uh, mg doped so or uh, you can see the free prop, prop there has a uh, wave waveforms like this so that means uh, uh, compared with the undoped and the mg mg uh, uh, doped doped uh, gamma nitride uh, from the surface uh, near the surface the photocarrier lands to the different directions uh, this uh, this uh, this case and this case carry us around to different directions. So it's, it's uh, uh, expand this band bending. Okay, so electrons uh, runs uh, toward the uh, surface and uh, any type of electrons runs toward the in, uh, inward, like this. And you can change the uh, 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 wave wavelengths of the uh, uh, thermotech scan laser. You can see see the how how the test emission amplitude changes and silicon nitride uh, uh, also. Or uh, you can see see the change and uh, uh, mg doped carriers is uh, uh, emission uh, it, uh, with a different polarity and but changing the uh, wavelengths we see 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 the the term emissions from the uh, from the uh, 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 and when we excite the below the band gap so this is a, a, a little bit strange emission waveform we are not sure yet that uh, most likely are, are, uh, uh, carriers uh, uh, excited the defects or uh, uh, the backside uh, area uh, generated a house wave maybe. And so you can see the change of the emission amplitude like this by changing here. Yeah. This is a band H like this. Uh, so you can see, see the change of the, of the emission amplitude like this and uh, uh, we have to think about the uh, femtoscanned optical pulse case because femtoscanned optical pulse has around 100 nanometer has it around 10 uh, 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 no, no, uh, so the 800 nanometer has a, uh, has a uh, 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 electron energy is uh, we can we can we can so, sorry we we can tune tune the uh, uh, scan energy to to the band gap like this or the band edge and uh, close to the band edge, but uh, actually uh, uh, Fentuscan open pulse has uh, 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 you cannot define the wavelengths of the Fentuscan optical pulse because of the uh, 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 they have uh, around ten nanometer spread so so solid line is is that we we uh when we assume the assume assume the distribution of the uh chemical of the price with the uh uh wavelengths uh distribution with the uh like this so this can expand completely the emission uh properties then that means that we can we can uh say the band H is located around here, 3.43 uh, uh, electron volt. So, uh, so this is the rather direct measure to see see the band gap of the uh, wide gap semiconductors locally. Okay, and also you can see the why the it, it, uh, this emission is stronger than this or something like this. Uh, and we, if we we simply calculate the uh, from the uh, literature value and uh, uh, this uh, uh, mobility of the electrons and the band bending and penetration depths gives the roughly uh, quite roughly but uh, uh, this is a maximum uh, this is a second this is a uh, third uh, value gives uh, it's it's co uh, coincide with the uh, emission amplitude difference so. Uh, roughly, we are uh, uh, observing the distribution of the uh, mobility or defects, uh, density, and so on. Uh, these, uh, these parameters are uh, uh, related to each other. 
each other. So we cannot define which is which, but uh, uh, we can see this uh, uh, distribution with a, a laser beam diameter. Okay. And so another thing says uh, M prime gallium nitride. It's uh, 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 if you cut the uh, gallium nitride along with M prime, they grow the uh, gallium nitride uh, uh, this thick and then stop. And, and refuse the material uh, 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 source and the growth again, growth again. But uh, at the surface, they have a strong uh, spontaneous polarization. They want to use the surface. So they cut the M, uh, uh, the M frame, but M frame has uh, uh, dislocation like this always, and uh, dislocation like this. So if you see, see this uh, M frame, uh, you can see, see, see the distribution of the defect. And this is an example of terahertz emission. And uh, this is the terahertz emission. And, uh, and this is the photoluminescence. Okay, so photoluminescence can see, see the, uh, this is the photoluminescence from the, uh, uh, this, uh, 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 what is the, uh, uh, blue, yellow luminescence maybe, yellow luminescence mapping, I think. It's a, this is the distribution of the defect like this. And uh, 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 they can see, see, see the uh, defect distributions like this, the same way with, uh, our data have come. But you can see the different color like this. As I said, the waveform itself flip pops. That means the uh, 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 carrier runs into a different way. So in this area, uh, the carrier runs the opposite direction of the other area like this. And that means that this, uh, this uh, spontaneous polarization uh, fully propped. It's a gallium nitride uh, has has the, uh, along this direction. Along this direction, they have a they have a spontaneous polarization. So if you grow the, the material, so, uh, sometimes you have a, a fully propped area of the uh, uh, spontaneous polarization. So you can rotate like this, this. And if you see see see, see the uh, uh, see the bad crystal area, it's a, it's a fluctuate. Uh, the distribution fluctuate like this. So this is not not a perfect uh, crystal. But in this area, this blue area is rather uh, uh, uniform. That that means that the, the, this uh, blue area is rather higher higher quality. And uh, this this uh, area uh, this. Is uh, supposed to be the edge of the uh, growth. So this free popped uh, area is a uh, uh, crystalline quality is higher than this uh, uh, the growth area. And above that, this uh, 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 sec uh, uh, second gallium nitride growth layer has a higher quality like this. This is an interesting result. So, so the, if you control manage to like this, you can uh, uh, grow. You can grow the higher quality gallium nitride, maybe like this. So you can study this kind of things. Okay. And uh, let me explain the show short with the gallium oxide. Gallium oxide and quite a high band gap. It's, it's explained the same way uh, like this. And uh, for instance, gallium nitride, uh, gallium oxide. Uh, if we adopt gallium, ox uh, gallium oxide, uh, people don't know the, the, uh, uh, how band is bending like this, and because they don't show also they don't show 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 the a bandage photoluminescence, so it is difficult to study the bandage carrier dynamics, and this the emission is the same way from uh, the gallium nitride, and uh, by changing the wavelengths you can directly uh, evaluate the band edge of the uh, gallium, uh, gallium oxide like this. It's uh, around uh, like this, uh, three, uh, 250 or five, six or seven nanometer. They have a band edge around here. And because, because it, this is difficult to, to evaluate the band edge of the gallium oxide because they don't have, a, uh, they don't show, show the uh, edge to edge photoluminescence. And too too many uh, 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 defects they have, and also they have a, a strong anisotropic band band structure. So you can see the strong by, uh, by changing the angle of the uh, uh, laser polarization, 
uh, you can see, see the uh, bandage difference uh, depending on, on the angle like this. So, and this is the same emission amplitude. This is for the luminescence amplitude. If you divide these uh, uh, data, so you can see, uh, see the photoluminescence and the defect uh, area and uh, L term signal is uh, like a, uh, 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 so gives the, the similar, uh, rather constant uh, barriers. And in the some surface, there's some scratch here. And the L term is quite sensitive to the surface potential. So uh, uh, photoluminescence is looking at the, the defects quite inside that material, but the L term is uh, watching on, only the surface. So there, if there is some distribution on the surface potential, you can see, see the difference of the surface potential of the material like this. Okay, so I skip the uh, summary for, for the wide batch semiconductors. I needed to go to silicon MOS case. And the, the silicon prop, uh, the silicon uh, MOS is important to still, still many challenges to, to perfect passivations and uh, high frequency CMOS and so on. Also, passivations for the solar cell like this. And uh, this is also collaboration with the uh, 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 companies. And this is a collaboration with also the uh, uh, ICE in Japan. And uh, for uh, th this is a, a similar way you, you can uh, character, uh, you can uh, define the, the, how the terrestrial emission wave we expect from the surface potential, right? This, it, it, this, is, uh, this is a simple textbook, uh, uh, textbook, uh, so, uh, well, textbook explanation of the most. And first we try to the with the ITO, uh, SIO, uh, silicon, M-type, P-type, and uh, skip this and this and uh, uh, so you, you, if you change the potential, if you change the potential of, of the uh, ITO, uh, SIO, and silicon as a MOS, uh, the terahertz wave uh, change like this free props, waveform is well, free prop. So amplitude is uh, uh, completely uh, almost same same as the uh, measured capacitance like this. And this is M type, this is P type. So this is completely explained by this uh, uh, band, how the band, uh, band bending like this, like this. And uh, uh, this, this is the contact uh, uh, evaluations and this is the non-contact evaluations and uh, so you can uh, charge the carrier with, uh, uh, this is bad name, it's a corona charge we call, yeah? <laughs> this is bad name, yeah? Uh, corona charge, uh, uh, we, char we can char charge the, uh, 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 the surface and by we can change, change the surface potential like this. So you can see the mapping of the carriers like this, uh, like this. And uh, by evaluating this amplitude, uh, so compare with the uh, uh, photoluminescence, micro uh, PDC, and so on, we we can get complete uh, relationship between the. Uh, uh, this is the uh, terahertz uh, uh, amplitude. This is the surface potential, and uh, this uh, this is uh, fit to to the uh, potential, and this to be uh, uh, this is uh, uh, measured values. So this you can see see the uh, uh, without contact uh, you can see the south surface potential on the uh, excited area. This is a uh, excellent uh, uh, technique to for uh, advanced evaluation to, as a advanced evaluation tool. Okay, so I don't have a time, so just to skip the uh, uh, last one. But uh, I, I I just want to see uh, show you the, the result. This you you cannot you cannot characterize the uh, you cannot find the uh, failure area of the of the LSI so it's hard to have job so you have to connect all the co contact okay, to to find the defect MOS one single defect MOS if you want to find um, you have to co uh, connect everywhere uh, and, and check the every line. And but you, you can check the uh, uh, you can use this technique like this and uh, uh, we uh, illuminate from backside uh, through, through the silicon so we use the 1.06 micro uh, femtosecond laser uh, to pass through the silicon and the surface is usually covered by the metal metal line 
and the metal line. So this is a simple uh, uh, comparison study. So uh, the normal uh, LSI emit a terahertz wave, uh, all, all affected antennas and doping and so on. If you have some defect, some disconnection or uh, defect in the uh, MOS, uh, terahertz emission uh, waveform with the changes. This. And this, and this is the case, uh, uh, usual uh, actual devices. And we uh, put the one shot in the MOS uh, and LSI like this. So you can see see the difference. It's a, This is a normal uh, LSI. And this is a defect with uh, LSI with defect. This, only this area is different. Then you can localize the uh, uh, defect area also. This is the LSI fabricated with the with the uh, 180 nanometer process, and we put the one uh, defect in, in this this MOS open circuit here, and uh, this is a, a normal uh, emission imaging about the uh, uh, 30 micron and 30 micron, and uh, uh, in, uh, this includes only one uh, 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 defect. So by uh, watching this uh, transition, so uh, this is a, no, a progress progress uh, imaging system, but uh, uh, we, we can reach down to the 100, uh, 360 nanometer resolution, and we can find a defect inside the fabricate LSI. Okay, so uh, I, I split a lot uh, uh, half uh, uh, last half. But uh, I, I explained the terahertz emission microsoc how how uh, uh, works how works and it is useful for for the uh, many uh, uh, real uh, semiconductor uh, R and D. Okay, thank you for your kind attention. So you, you can check my, our research activities. Just Google Google Scholar, which is a very uh, 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 rare name in Japan. So. Uh, uh, you don't find uh, any other person from me if you uh, check the Google Scala. Okay, thank you for your kind attention. Okay. Okay, uh, so, uh, thank you, Masa. Uh, okay, I need to see where the, where the, uh, ch some chat, no chat, okay. 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 Um, Okay. Uh, okay. So thank you for this uh, very nice mm -hmm. talk. Okay. So uh, are there questions from mm -hmm. the audience? Okay. Maybe while we wait, if someone mm -hmm. uh, wants to ask a question. So I have a question. So you you said that. Uh, um, so uh, with terahertz microscopy, you don't need to. You, so you don't need to. Uh, so your resolution is not limited by the terahertz wavelength, but it's more limited by the laser spot. So the, the uh, now. Um, so what I'm thinking is, uh, in principle, the carriers that you generate can migrate in other regions. Yes. Yeah. So do you get a loss in resolution because of this effect? Uh, uh, yes, uh, if, if, if they have a uh, diffusion, long diffusion lengths. But uh, we can, uh, we can see, see the time domain, OK? So or say uh, less than picosecond, it's a limited area diffusion. So uh, mostly we can see, see, see the excited area. And if you see the uh, uh, if you see see the after diffusion after a, a few picosecond, uh, you can also see, see the diffusion, uh, uh, including such a diffusion. And we usually yeah, use the uh, okay. Okay, so basically, you yeah. see yeah. The, uh, the 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 terahertz pulse uh, mm. uh, instead of. Terminating after after a short while just just as a longer tail or, mm. or longer dynamics. Mm. Yeah, this is a good example. It, it, this is a, a, a about five micron five micron gap is here, and uh, uh, this is the, in this case this is a completely free space, so the resolution is uh, around one micron or two micron. 
Uh, okay, one second. Uh, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, so you're not sharing the. Uh, oh, okay. The oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, sharing the. Oh, go to Okay. Okay. So this is gallium uh, arsenide, simple gallium arsenide. This is a metal. And uh, so if you illuminate here, it's a, 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 this emission occurs only the positively biased. Mm -hmm. And if you illuminate this area, so you can see, see the in time, uh, uh, in time, uh, how change the carrier uh, distribution changes in this area. So uh, just after the illumination, a whole area, the emission comes from the, the, this side. So uh, the, oh. at this time, uh, we excite this area. And before that, uh, terahertz emission has only come from this side. And after the uh, uh, illumination, whole area, then uh, illumination com uh, emission comes from the, this side because of carrier redistribution inside uh, uh, this five microns gap, okay? Oh, I have a question. So uh, the, the picture that you're showing, the graph, uh, mm. uh, is that uh, theoretical calculations or uh, experimental data? On, only uh, experimental. We're not theorists, so, <laughs> okay. We, we, we can guess, but uh, 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 we haven't. We don't. We don't do the any uh, uh, simulation. Uh, sorry, what is the length scale for the for the spatial? Uh, so the, I. I uh, in, in this case, this is completely a uh, free space, so we don't use anything. So this is uh, resolution is one around, around one micron uh, uh, resolution, uh, and okay. this this gap is a five micron. Okay, I see. So yeah. so the, the the unit in the in the graph is uh, microns. Yeah. Because yeah. From zero to five microns. Mm. Okay, I see. Um, okay, and sorry if I. So, but um, how how do you? So how is how is this uh, generated? So how how can you say? Okay, so probably I've not understood uh, precisely what you what you're doing here. So you're exciting uh, in the. This is this is an electrode that the positively biased gold. And this is electrode negatively biased gold. So there is a field in between uh, the gap. And then this is the area of the gallium arsenide, semi insulating gallium arsenide. They don't carry, carry, the, carry the carriers uh, without illumination. So if we illuminate the uh, 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 small part, the carrier runs fast here. It's a positively biased. And because of the, uh, the potential distribution with the short key uh, distribution, it's a, a potential uh, a distribution. Uh, it's a field, a built in field is uh, uh, affect um, most strongly. So near the edge, is a, they have a strong field with a uh, biased field and short key field. Okay. Oh. But if you excite the whole, cal uh, whole area, so electrons. Run to the positive, uh, uh, positive directions. Uh, falls run to the negative directions. So uh, uh, this uh, field is screened. And then, uh, if you bias, the, for instance, ten volt, ten voltage go to the only the negative edge, because of the uh, electrons run fast, so they uh, screen the uh, field near the, this edge. So this this uh, emission is comes from comes from this edge. Mm -hmm. So the distribution of the uh, screen uh, built-in field, you can see in time domain, it's a uh, uh, picosecond, uh, twenty picosecond between the thirty picosecond. How how the carriers running? We can see. Okay. So and you. Uh... And here the resolution. Okay, so the the, the the optical pump is a big spot that covers uh, the, the the whole uh, area. Yes. Yes. And 
Yeah. And the second beam is uh, focused. Every time signals comes on this second beam. Ah, there's a second beam. Yeah. And huh? we uh, uh, we chopped uh, the only second beam. So uh, rock wind detection visualize only second beam uh, terahertz emission. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, no, because I was saying that there was just uh, the, the first uh, pump beam, and then I was trying to understand how you could get uh, the spatial resolution. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Uh, I didn't explain the, the, this uh, uh, system uh, in, here in, in detail, yeah. That's okay. example, yeah. Okay, L let's see uh, if other people have questions. Um, Okay, uh, maybe I have, a, I have another question. Um, so you mentioned that uh, um, in this way, so you can you can basically uh, do an analysis of uh, of the band bending uh, in the yeah. in the Chotky Berry region or in the, in the depletion region. So um, so I guess you need some previous knowledge of the mobility of the two type of carriers of electrons and holes, because otherwise, how can you distinguish between? Uh, uh, yes, yeah. uh, so we, yeah. we need to know. Uh, and mostly, most application is that we can see the distribution of those different sites. Say, for example, is, uh, I said it's uh, this case, it's a gallium oxide case. It's, uh, we don't know from the, uh, we, we cannot get any information from our uh, uh, data, but we can say that, see, see the distribution for, uh, this is hard to see, but this is a, a surface potential is uh, uh, a little bit different in this direction uh, area. Oh, uh, the okay. photo, uh, photoluminescence very uniform, they have a uniform defect inside the wafer. But if you uh, uh, see, see the surface, this is quite a, a, a sensitive of surface potential. So uh, this may be some scratch or some uh, small, uh, uh, small uh, defect area on the surface. Okay. So by, by watching the l signal, you can characterize such a distribution of the material or uh, distribution of the defects or some uh, uh, non-uniform doping and so on. Okay, I see, I see, I see. In the same way, they, uh, is, uh, what you can see, we can see the, in this case, that uh, this is the surface damage of the solar cell. And there are some damage lying in the uh, solar cell. And this is the cracks go through a whole the sample in, in this tandem, a three multi junction solar cell. But if you change change the wavelengths, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, cracks you can see 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 the whole uh, uh, tandem solar cell. But the, this is a surface uh, a damaged area line. You cannot see see the damage in in, in the second or you know, the third layer like this. So by cho changing the wavelengths, you can see see the such a distribution. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, um, okay, I, I would say so. It's it's already almost quarter past four. Um, let's do this. So, uh, maybe we can close the session here. If there are more questions, uh, uh, I don't know. So, depending on, on, on your time, so if you want, uh, you can stay, but. Um, um, so maybe we can close here uh, the official session, and then if you maybe you can stay a few more minutes. Um, okay. Uh, so today, uh, I, 